obviously there's not a you know, until the game is over really that's the only real time there is to smile scoring a touchdown is great but the game's never over until the final whistle so i would say i don't smile that much during the game but any kind of personal milestones my players are able to make i mean obviously that's an important moment for them and for those things i would probably smile I mean, obviously, one of the biggest moments would be just having my child. I mean, that, it, it, you know, it takes your life from having just yourself to worry about and, and, and live your life to having someone else completely dependent on everything that you do. And I think probably that was probably one of the biggest turning points in my life was just in having my children. I mean, it's it was so eye opening and so scary. And so I'm, you know, <laughs> coaching is one thing, but having a child and, and how they'll, you know, grow up in this crazy world, it's, uh, it, it was definitely eye opening for me. <laughs> Superpower. I think I'd like to be invisible, honestly and truly, to be able to be in some places and hear conversations or see some behind the you know scenes things I, I think it'd be incredible and so you know we always joke about being a fly on the wall or something like that being invisible would allow you know obviously to get in some places you'd want to hear some conversations or or see certain things and I think that'd be an incredible superpower. I mean, obviously, as as coaches, we do so many other things. So I, you know, I don't think you have to dream to to be in a different field. I mean, I do real estate now, which is just creative. It's just finding some properties that need to be rehabbed, and 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 just being able to look at something and say, this is how I would have it done, and this is what most people would like. I think that part is is great. So real estate has been super fun. I mean, obviously, fresh out of college, I had owned a, a personal training gym, and I thought that was hugely rewarding. It was just, it's a tough business, it's highly competitive, but, you know, always anything where you're helping somebody attain a goal, I think that's always a fun thing. So creativity is, is something I enjoy, but also helping people attain goals, I think, you know, both of those things tie into a lot of what I enjoy off the field. And I, you know, as a cerebral person and a, you know, and, and I just love the school process and, you know, being in sports, not, not that I didn't use, I have several degrees, not that I didn't use them, but I didn't use them in the sense that probably most people that have as much education as I do, you know, was able to use. And so, you know, one thing that, that was really cool was early in my life that I did get accepted into a medical program. and. You know, going to medical school was something that, that I really would love to have done, but sports took up so much time. It was just too hard to, to kind of, you know, keep both of those things going at the same time. And so, you know, but my, my youngest son is, is, that's the field that he's wanting to go in. So all that, you know, my, uh, my dream would just be do, do what you really want to do. And in either way, you know, if you work hard at anything, something good comes out of it. And, you know, being an athlete, you know, turned me into coaching. And so it's something I've done for over 20 years and I've, and I've just had a ball. And so, yes, was there other things I could have done maybe and made more money or something like that. But as long as I've been happy, I mean, that that to me is is the crucial is just make sure whatever you do, you're, you're happy at doing it. I think that's the best advice I could give anybody is you know, happiness is, is, you know, again, it's, it's just something that you can't overlook.